my dear sisters and brothers in Christ today the gospel clearly urges us to become Christ witnesses you are the salt of the earth you are the light of the world so salt has many functions but today I would like to reflect on only two functions of the salt the flavor and the preservation the salt gives flavor to the curry another one is preservation if we want the meat to preserve we use salt so this is before the refrigerator was invented until now salt is still using for preservation in some places of the world so the light also has its function that it can disperse the darkness it can be seen from afar at night although it is small today we the followers of Christ are called to be witnesses of Jesus Christ we have our identities as Christians as the salt gives flavor to the curry we also should give flavor to the community and society salt gives flavor to whatever meat maybe pork curry, chicken curry, or beef curry. It gives the flavor with the taste and also without losing the taste of the meat. So also, whatever our profession may be, if we include the spirit of Christian, that is love, our work will be beautiful and meaningful to our community and society. Let's sort of preserve the meat. We can be the salt that preserves our faith by our words and deeds in our daily lives. One day, Sir Elisha's Gonzaga was playing. Someone asked him, What will you do if you will die within a few minutes? He answered, I will continue playing. He would go on querying his normal everyday life, so no need to worry. He was ready any time because he was living according to his faith. So also, another one is salt creates dust. dust. We need to ask ourselves, do we ever make anyone thirsty for the Lord? Usually, when we drink the salty water, it makes us thirsty. So when we include our Christian love to our works, the other may thirst for it. They will want more. It will draw others to Jesus Christ. As we used to go to the God restaurant because we like the taste or we like the delicious food. Oh, this restaurant is good we shall come next time we used to say like that as we said we also used to go to that restaurant again but if the food is not good oh we'll not come anymore this restaurant like this so if we include our Christian love to our works we can draw others to Jesus Christ if we do not yet make anyone thirsty for the Lord we still have time to make thirsty for the Lord through our good works plus our Christian love and faith we should be the light that can disperse the darkness especially the darkness of evil by seeing us the others should see Jesus Christ we should be the lamb for others in the darkness we saw that in a person like Mother Teresa. She used to wear simple white sari and her old leather sandals. Today, she visited the destitute and the dying in the slum of an inner city. And then with this, the same sari and old sandal, she was socializing the rich 
and the powerful people in the next day. This is what the sword of the earth and the light of the world mean. So let the light that is in us shine brightly so that people will see our good works and say how wonderful Catholic we are. In order to be proud, no. There is only one reason for us to be salt and light for others. That is, that people may be drawn to God as their Lord. Our only aim in living out the gospel with maximum visibility, visibility is to point people in the direction of God who loves them and in whom is their ultimate happiness. So our aim is to ask people to work together for the kind of the world that God wants us to have. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today let us try to be the salt and the, the salt of the earth and the light of the world by witnessing Jesus Christ through our good works, included our Christian love and faith in our daily lives so that we may show other people the directions to God. May God bless you all.